feel bad for these kids, man. Just feel bad. Just feel bad. Really do. Two weeks in a row. We could have put them in a better position to win. They played their hearts out. Too many mistakes. Three turnovers on offense. Down in the red zone, gonna score again. Any question? Coach, in the first half, uh, you were up 10-3, to Nuss hit a couple passes, you put Tyree in. Them. Was that something you guys had kind of been working on to bring in? It was just Apparently your reaction. not enough. Yeah. How much – Nuss had hit a couple passes. You feel like you kind of – just kind of self-destructed there? No, I don't think it was a very um, – I don't think it was just very good for us to put Ty Davis back there. Wildcat, we never did it all year. We caused the fumble, could have went up 17 to 3. I wish could have had that call back. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get a mic for you. Ed, at any point, did you think of going back to Max? Yeah, you know, you could have went back and forth right there, but I just didn't want to put him back in. We were so far into it. We kind of felt like we were going to let Garrett play, give him a shot. And he made some good plays. But I just didn't want to go back when thing went south again. I just thought that uh, I didn't want to put him back in there. Ed, right in the back. Just the job that defense has done. Um, Say it again. The job that defense has done, really, throughout this season. Yeah. Tonight, too, but, I mean, the constant progression that we're seeing out of those guys. Phenomenal. You know, I, I, you know, I, I, a big shift happened in open date, and uh, we – what more, three, four, look. We did some things that we thought that would help us. There's more pressure. We had some pressure. We now, now we missed some plays tonight. But overall, I think the defense has been playing lights out. You know, the, the job that Damone Clark has been doing, and I just think the defense has play, been playing well. Uh, it's uh, over here. Uh, it's no uh, secret that we haven't had the best injury luck uh, yeah. uh, here for uh, for a while. What can you say about the players who have stepped up and made these last two games I'm super of, entertaining? I'm proud of those guys. They keep on playing. They keep on swinging. Uh, you know, we have two linemen in there that didn't play much. Uh, Marcus Dumbleville played. The guys didn't blink. They want to win. These guys want to push. They want to win. They're practicing. They're giving us everything they got. We just need to put them in better position. That's all that is. Uh, yeah, hey, Coach. Just, I guess kind of where would you assess where the quarterback room is moving forward? You guys, huh. I, I don't know if you've had a chance to think about it yet. but Yeah, well, we, we're going to look at it. You know, we, hey, we're trying. We're trying everything. And, you know, hey, Garrett makes some good plays, and he didn't make some good plays. And Max makes some good plays, he don't make some good plays. I don't think you can put it all on the quarterback. I think we've got to look at everything, encompass what we're doing, and and let's just go from there. We've got two games left, but we've got to regroup. Oh, that's a hurting group in there right now. Coach, what happened in the overtime period with the turnover? Yeah, we went for it. You know, we threw the ball and we threw a fade. No, no. It was a call we made and we threw an interception. Is that what you kind of get with Nuss? You get the scramble and the touchdown to Besh. Yeah. And then you get the gamble in overtime that kind of. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know if that, you know, that was a call play. I mean, I mean he, he threw the ball, he was called to throw. What, what coaching can you do in the future, I guess, with those guys in overtime? Hey, we got to protect the ball. Yeah, you know? no question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll make sure to remind them of it again. Um, I guess just speak to, you know, Micah and Damone's play tonight. They seem to really carry you guys on defense. They're playing hard. Those guys are playing hard, you know. And uh, they give it everything they got, man. They're older guys. They want to win. They're back in there. They're hurting. And I'm hurting for them, you know. Just wish we could have put them in a better position. Some guys are playing lights out football right now. Ed, you talk about how much they are hurting right now, and you can see how much it's hurting you as well. Sure. When a team suffers a loss like that, what do you say to them? I just say, hey, you don't put it on me. It's all I can do. Get them better. Let's look at the film, and let's look at the plays that we had a chance. It doesn't always come down to one play. There's a lot of chances that we had to make plays to win this football game. But again, you got to find a way to do it. They did, we didn't. Coach, straight back. You keep talking about um, putting them in better position. I'm reading between the lines, but are you speaking offensively? Is well, this... we've got to call better plays. No, we've got to, we've got to do better things. I mean, that's, 
Well, it's obvious. It was obvious last week, especially in the red zone. We won one of three in the red zone. You know that uh, we go wildcat. We I don't know if we ran that at all, and uh, that's just. You know, we got to be smarter than that. We just got to be smarter with the football in there. We're on the eight-yard line against Alabama last week. We got the, we got the number two team in the ropes. We got first down on the eight. We got to score. I mean, that's just, hey, you going to beat LSU, you got to do that. That's just the way it is. Uh, how has Dwight McLeathern approached uh, since he became, like, the leader of the cornerback? Dwight's a great young man. I love him. He's a hard worker. No, uh, he's going to be a phenomenal cornerback for us. He stepped up where you know the other guys got hurt. You know he was supposed to be in a backup role this week, this year. He stepped up. He's been a leader. He's a good, good young man. He's a good player. He's going to be a great player for LSU. If if I could just kind of follow up, I'm assuming you don't want to get on the headset and tell guys how to do their job. Is that <laughs> is that right? Well, you know, I, I help with defense. You know, I, you know, I may say run the ball, pass the ball, let's go for it, stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not an offensive guy. I never pretend to be. Ed, the, where they were on the field before the fake field goal, did you did you guys smell that at all? Or was no, that we a, didn't. In fact, we thought they were going to – we made a mistake, and uh, we thought they were bringing their punter in there. So we had to call a timeout. And then we put in, we put in our field goal block unit, but we, we were not prepared for that. Good call on that. We were not prepared for that. Hey, Coach O, right here in the back. Uh, you got two games left. You were talking about wanting to be on white sandy beaches, maybe for a bowl game. How important is it to not have a losing season at LSU and to finish yeah. strong? And, I mean, you got some tough opponent to end yeah. with in A&M. Yeah. Yeah, you know, listen, you know, we had a tough opponent last week, too. Nobody thought we could play with them either. We did. We just, just This is about us. You know, this is about us sticking together. You know, that's what I challenge the guys on. It's hard right now. And I told them to stick together. And uh, I think it, the more we stick together and the more we get come to practice next week and, and, and get on a, a good start next week and, and beat uh, UL Monroe and then, then practice as, as hard as we can and then just, you know, just get after Texas A&M. That's all we can do. Coach, can you talk about Ty Price and the uh, Ty Davis Price, the his efforts the last few weeks, the opportunities he's given the offense and what you can do with that going into the last couple of games. He's a tough runner, and he's really doing good. I don't know how many yards he has, maybe 800-something yards, maybe a little bit more now. And uh, But, you know, it, it took him a little while. Uh, Ty uh, battled some injuries in the spring, battled some injuries in camp, and now he's really full speed. And uh, But he's a bruising runner. Uh, he's a good runner, and uh, he's doing a good job for us. Coach in the back, you talked about uh, getting them up and – I think that was the challenge this week. Could they bounce back from that one last week? Yeah. But is it because you have guys that haven't played and are getting their chance? What, what do you what do you attribute to to why they've been you know able to fight when yeah, they got a I, lot going against them? Well, first of all, we said we're going to fight today. I said we're going to fight. They're going to fight. They know I got two weeks left, and we're giving it everything we got. And I, I think the guys are. You know, we didn't put on pads on Wednesday. It was the first time I gave them a little break, and I thought that helped them. I'm going to keep them fresh, but it's still we're paying attention to the detail. Our coaches are busting their tail, working hard. Uh, they see it from us, uh, and uh, we're going to we're going to finish strong. Whatever happens, we're going to finish strong. Thank you, coach. All right, guys. Hey, good to see everybody.